Hello all, how are we? Welcome to another daily vlog. You know what? <laughs> the last couple of days these vlogs have been late, um, going past the day mark. Um, at this point I don't really care. I mean at the minute my, my head isn't in the game. So these night shifts are starting to really mess with me a bit with my sleep pattern. Um, I'm, I'm obviously when I should be up, I'm sleeping because of the shift that I've got the next day, me going in at four in the morning. So yeah, it's causing the last couple of days, the days have just completely gone away with me. Today was my day off and I've done now. I've absolutely done nothing because <clears throat> for the most part of it, I've been getting my rest. And then <clears throat> I'm having to get up at a very unsociable hour, like now, or, well, I've been up a, I've been up a little bit, but I'm just giving you an example that I'm having to get up at a really, you know, <laughs> unsociable hour, if, if you can call it that, and ready for my next shift, and I've seen nothing of my day off. It's a bit frustrating, to be honest, but it is what it is at the moment, you know, I've got to deal with it. Um... Everyone's the same. Um, everyone's got to do these shifts, either going at, going at four. I could, if I wanted to, I could change my hours to going at um, going at nine or ten o'clock in the morning. But to be quite honest with you, I if I did that, I, well, I could do that, and it could make things a little bit easier for me. But to be honest. I prefer going in at four. I know I'm shooting myself in the foot with me saying that it's messing me around, but I prefer going in because I do get a little bit of night rate, um, at least a couple of hours night rate on top of the rest of my shift. So that's why I prefer going in at that time is because I am getting a bit of time and a half night rate. Night rate so, night in a bit, should I say. Uh, so, yeah. But uh, apart from that... I'm good. I'm I'm alright in my good in myself. Um, I'm working. To, I'm working obviously tomorrow or today now. The time I'm recording this, so I'm in today at four, finish at nine, um, and then I'm working Thursday. I'm off Friday, and I'm in at the weekend as well. So I've got one more day off, which is on Friday, and then the whole weekend and then next week I've also got about think I think I'm down four shifts next week. I had to double check but yeah I've got a couple of days off next week and yeah. But no, I'm I'm good. I'm good. But uh but it's work in it, you know, it's work. Um I suppose I'm one of the lucky ones in a way that I am at work and um Due to this whole situation, there's a lot of people that are unsure of when they're going to be returning back to work and so on. But but no, it's uh, I'm lucky in some in wrong respects, but at the same time, it's kind of like I'm not seeing much. I'm not seeing much of the day to be honest, because I'm having to kind of recuperate or get my hours of sleep that I need for ready for the next next shift, and it's crossing into my time away from work and it, I don't see any of the day I don't see any of my day off half most of the time and if I do do anything all I go for is a walk and because I can't do much else <laughs> but anyway but uh, yeah so that's going to be the vlog today people um, yeah I apologise to you all of all of you that my essentially my daily thing has gone a little bit awry at the moment in essence, to be honest with you, it still kind of works out as a as a day thing because yesterday's vlog was around about midnight to half midnight when I recorded and uploaded it. It's exactly the same time today. So essentially, these are essentially 24 hours back to back from when they were first uploaded. Uh, you know what I mean? In between uploads anyways. So essentially, they are back to back. So... It shouldn't be a big problem. 
Well, anyways, so I think while you know, while I've got a few hours still before I'm due off, um, I've got three hours from now before I have to set off. Um, so I'm just gonna, I don't know, check check stuff out. I've finished a few series now on Netflix. Um, I finished the Ghost in the Shell anime series on Netflix, the new one. Really enjoyed that, and I've finished the Hollow season two. So I've finally actually caught up and finished two seasons. And now we're watching a new another anime. Well, it's not a new; it's been out for a while, but it's finally gone up on Netflix. And I'm watching season one of the anime called Parasite. So I'm now watching that, and uh, I've never watched it all the way through. So I'm watching that at the moment. Um, yeah, and I'm just kind of checking up and catching up on my YouTube uh, people that I'm subscribed to as well, and uploading my videos. I'm still doing my reviews and everything to try and keep a little bit productive. But anyways, so thank you very much for watching. Anyways. Again, I do apologise for the very strange times of uploading because by the time people actually see the, the next day's vlog is when they're getting up to go to work or when they've just got home from work in the, in the evening. So there's a big lull of time because people are in bed. Um, <clears throat> but uh, hey, uh, it is what it is at the moment and I'm sure you guys understand where I'm coming from is that I'm trying to get my rest in because of me being on essentially the night kind of like working nights um so th when i usually make a vlog say if i'm not working a night shift if i'm on days for example i'm up all day um i get up at some point n noon time 11 ish in the morning and i'm up all the way through and it, i'm able to kind of do proper uploads and actually do uh, and a bit more of a social time. What I mean is that yeah, I'm able to kind of upload my 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 vlogs at around about five or six or seven o'clock in the evening, to the point where people are probably having the having the teas at that point of the day, so they are up, and it's a better time for you to get a video up because usually people are at home at that time during the week and that. But um, but yeah. But at the moment with me doing these, I'm having to kind of just make them when I've got a spare moment like now. Um, but yeah, tomorrow, I keep trying to do this. I keep trying to stay up as, as long as I can after I finish my shift. So when I, when I finish work at nine, I should be home for about half nine, around about nine to half nine. So when I get home, I try to stay up as long as I possibly can before I have to go back to sleep. Um, so I try and get most of my day by staying up, up until about maybe 3, 4 in the afternoon. I'll then go to sleep for a couple of hours, but yeah, so but we'll, I'll see how things go. I mean, the earlier I go to sleep, the earlier I'm up and the more of the evening I'm going to see. Um, but to be honest, I like what I like to do. I like to have that freedom when I fe for, when I finish work. I like to be able to maybe go for a walk, and I've not been. I haven't really been for a good walk. Um, I went for a walk. I think the other day. Uh, I didn't go for one yesterday because I've been pretty much in the house all day. But the other day I, w I went for a walk, but it was only for like fifteen twenty minutes. I didn't really go for a proper proper walk, so. I'm overdue for a decent walk, so I'm gonna go for a good walk probably tomorrow. When I uh, probably get home, chill out for a few minutes, get changed, and then I'll head out for a good walk. Some point in the, some point in the morning or the early afternoon, but we'll see how it goes. But anyway, so thank you very much. <laughs> thank you for allowing me to. Uh, Say what I want to say off the top of off my chest, and uh, you know, I mean, I understand everything at the moment. People, you're having to stay at home, and you can't go anywhere because it's for your own, for your health, and for everybody else's health. You know, the whole risk of the situation of spreading the virus. I do understand that is the reason why this is all happening, and to try and cut down. And obviously, there are there are a lot so some people that aren't adhering to the rules 
and still going out and still meeting friends and still doing this and not really giving a crap about anybody else, just themselves. There is a there is that going on which I does piss me off a lot. But um But I am looking forward to when I can just freely be able to just go out for a proper drive out, you know, maybe go somewhere that isn't here. Um, I'm looking forward to the point where I can maybe just go for a drive out, maybe go up the coast to Scarborough or Bridlington or, you know, just be able to go up the coast and go there because I haven't been there for ages or just to be able to go into town. I mean, I can go in town now. I can go to Hull now, Hull City Centre. I could go there now whenever I wanted, but there's no point because the, the, the only shops that are open will be the food shops, like Tesco's and so on. They're the only shops that are open, so it'd be a wasted trip and there's no point in me going. And But what I mean by, you know... I'm looking forward to when everything or most things can start to reopen and businesses can start to reopen. But it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see of how many are open and those that have managed, unfortunately, uh, ran in a, the businesses took a turn for the worst and they've you know had to go into liquidation or something. Because there is a lot of shops in Hull that have, that have seen liquidation over the past five years um yeah so this could have been this could have been a, a big problem for them to try and you know if they were trying to salvage the business in some way i'm guessing with this situation and they're not getting any money you know but anyway but yeah i'm looking forward to when things start to be able to go where i can actually maybe go out for a little drive and actually go somewhere that isn't here but at the same time it is for my health and it's for everybody else's health so I understand for now we have to stay where we are we have to be stay at home it, yeah you can go out for exercise but obviously the social distancing you know two meter distance you can still got to abide by that which I am doing all the time so whenever I'm out I'm always I'm always you know looking around Making sure there's nobody like up right up my up my ass like, because sometimes that happens. You know when you 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 go in for a walk, and then you kind of just kind of see in the corner of your eye there's somebody just like right here, literally just off your side, walking just as just at the same speed as you, but up behind you as if they're kind of like, I don't know, like they're just hanging around on your side. I'm like, get fucking past me. Yeah. I hate that. It does mean <laughs> You're like, what are you doing? Are you looking at my phone? Are you going to pickpocket me? You get past me, you twat. You can freaking try and pickpocket me. It wasn't going to freaking work well for you. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, I'm going to stop now before. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, I'm going to stop. <laughs> oh, God. I'm a mess. But anyway... I will see you tomorrow with another vlog. Uh, you got to laugh, aren't you? If you don't, you'll cry, as they say. But anyway, stay safe, stay awesome, and don't go mad like I am. <laughs>